Not a single day that passes without you on my mind Not even one minute can end up before you come around I hope for the days when I see your face here before me I hope for the time to help me in your arms oh, I wish that you were here to give me everything I want But I know that life's unfair and we can't
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Goblet of Fire uh, tournament. And today we have an amazing game between Midas Enjoyer versus Team Tango. Midas Enjoyer did play a game the other day. They won. They draw the series actually on one on one. But today they are back for more games with Team Tango this time around. And uh, I believe it's going to be one interesting game because it's going to be Christian versus Johnny today and Midas Enjoyer versus Team Tango. From the casting, this is me, Zane. With me is none other than Changing Star. Let's have an early prediction before the draft, Changing Star. What do you say? I think with their main player gone, Midas Enjoyer are going to have a tough time. And already it's the best of one due to that walkover given to Team Tango. Yes, Team Tango already starting the game with an advantage. They have won one game already, so 
it's only going to be one game. Either Dallas and Joy wins, may ties the series, or Tango wins and makes it a 2-0 in their favor. So either way, we're going to have an interesting game to see. Now, as we see from the Dallas and Joy side, we see Pudge, Invoker, Techies get banned out. On the Tango side, we have Warlock and Void banned. I believe these are the meta heroes that they don't want to play against, or perhaps one of the best heroes of each other. So just get rid of that, you know? Invoker and Techies are really highly picked nowadays in, in ranks because they can destroy lanes. You may win mid with Invoker, generally, he can play mid against any hero, to be honest. And on the side lanes, if you pick it as a support, it also is harassing. And Midas Enjoy just doesn't want to play against that Huskar anymore. Just get rid of it, you know? Which was from a different team, but it's interesting. They use a ban on that and no Nature's Prophet ban or Witch Doctor, yeah. which are the more contested hero. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of things open. Venge is open, Witch Doctor is open, Jakiro is open. These three supports are really, really good now. And they also haven't banned the Nature's Prophet, which is the most broken shit I've ever seen in this patch. Like, you play that in any role, he just literally does so much in the game, right? I mean, even if he dies. It's just so annoying that he's just there, you know? He comes out of uh, nowhere, starts hitting your support, starts hitting everyone. It's just so annoying, and there it is. Witch Doctor, which I'm not even surprised because it's a really common thing to pick Witch Doctor nowadays. And uh, Jakiro, another one, pretty common. Pretty common meta support heroes pick out by both of the teams. And Nature's Prophet is still open. They pick out the position 5s if they plan on using these heroes as position 5s, which they're meant to be. They can also played, be played on the position 4. A little bit greedy, you know, which Doctor. Position 4, get the early Scepter. Greedy move, but worth it. It is worth it. He's a slower hero on the position 4 role, but with that pure damage and the Ags, eh, it is so disgusting, you know. Mm, yeah, I was playing a pub game and my... Zeus was like not my Zeus, my carry was swearing at my mid lane because apparently the position five witch doctor had more damage than my mid lane Zeus, so it's not even surprising <laughs> because it happens. You just have to press R and you just sit down, you know, watch the old man dance like ding 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 ding, ding and everybody's dead. Just the bouncing off go down. two strike, bouncing off, immense amount of damage, everybody's just dying, you know. Okay, they ban out the Bloodseeker. They and the Puck. Sangi Aya, important hero. Okay, they just don't want their hero to be caught out. It's either going to be a Ember Spirit right now, which is good against Jakiro, can go into the back lines, or perhaps a Pangolier. You know, they, these two heroes are really annoying for the Puck and the Bloodseeker for Ember Spirit and Pangolier, or any Spirit hero if it matters. So, I guess they just want to pick something like that, but Midas and Jory will have the second pick. Nature's Prophet is still open. They're considering picking They did it. ban Night Stalker, so... What yeah. do you think is the problem? The AoE silence? Which hero are they banning it for? The mid laner? Well, it's probably something that you don't want to play against in off lane, and Night Stalker is uh, a really strong hero in this patch as well like at the night time you can't just fight him you can't catch him he's just gonna walk away fly around just kill everyone so i guess they just don't want to face with that so i would say it's not specifically for anything but it's just a general band that you know you just just want to get rid of yeah okay, it's also is. good against the king of pain if you are going for that very strong mid laner hey now we have Witch Doctor in both of the sides, and there it is, the oh Furion. I mean, Tango has such diabolical supports on their sides. I would not uh, yeah. want to play against this duo. Yeah, 30 minutes into the game, and Midas and Jory have to cry, you know, like because it's, they're gonna have to face against five carries. Witch Doctor itself is more dangerous than a carry nowadays. After Indeed. after like 20, 25 minutes, once he has his scepter. And Nature's Prophet naturally converts into a carry, right? Once he buys his scepter as well, and um, once he has his um, what the items called when the buy the one you buy with medallion, I kind of forgot its name. Solar Crest. Solar Crest, yeah. Once you buy Solar Ooh, Crest. Oh, so yeah. Phantom Assassin. Assassin. Okay. 
This draft from Team Tango is looking so strong right now. I don't know what can stop it. They just studied metas and they're gonna be like, okay, whatever has the highest win rate, whatever hero is in meta, whatever hero is IMB right now, splash it on into there. And that's what Team Tango is about. Witch Doctor, IMBA, Nature's Prophet, IMBA, Phantom Assassin, IMBA. They have Everything. banned the Christmas Void already, so the only hero that could potentially go against the Phantom Assassin is now not available for them. I don't yeah. see any carry that can go against this Phantom Assassin other than maybe a Sven. A Sven could work. Sven could work. Uh, or something that has just, you know, that amount of stun. But Midas enjoy Lax lockdown as well. X. Okay, an offlane that can go against PA. Very that's good. a very wise that's choice. Good. Yeah, that's a really good X pick, but against a Witch Doctor, it's going to be trouble because every time X gets in, he's going to get maledicted. And once you get maledicted, okay. you you just just can't do anything more. You know, you're just scared. You can't it's go not far. an easy lane against the yeah. PA and Witch Doctor. It can go really bad really quick. Yeah, definitely. His of time is running low for Midas Enjoyers, as it should be against this draft. We don't know where to pick. Are they going to pick their safe center here, or are they going for the mid lane? Uh, they don't have the last pick. They have the last pick, yeah. So they can, they have that for them, at least. Last pick against all five heroes of Team Tango. Reserve time is really getting used on this pick. Let's see what it's going to be. 10 seconds left. Lark. Why do you think about that? Hmm. I think it can work Slark. against... Slark is good against PA, to be honest, but... I mean, it can work. I mean, Slark does have, like, you know, two... Shadow thingies, which does work good against PA. If PA can't even hit, then I guess it's okay. But if they initiate on you, then it's bad because they already have a counter for the slug, and that is the Witch Doctor. Maledict once again strikes back. So AOE Maledict in the ultimate as well. Yeah. You can hit it. Yeah, if Slark is just caught because I think Team Tango does have decent amount of lockdown. This Nature Prophet is just gonna go for more lockdowns, which is gonna be really annoying and they still have two more picks left they can just pick a lockdown off lane they can just pick a lockdown mid lane i'm not even if gonna be just, surprised if they just pick a centaur here team tango they don't need anything else i think yeah they, one centaur they, is all they need yeah they can also pick a sand king which is really really good here sand Ooh, king against sand storm Slark, egg. yeah, yeah sandstorm against lark is really really good so they can just pick that they have a lot of options to be honest team tango does enjoy they're in the tight zone i think team tango they're fine so far true they have an axe but axe doesn't actually win the lane against pa so he you can't does not confirm that he does not win the lane against pa he wins a fight against pa that's true if they were to engage in a fight after axe has a blink and a blade mail he would definitely win a fight against pa but in the laning stage he can't do much to pa tarsier works the same way as a Centaur would work even better to be honest. The surge is actually low lower cooldown than the you know That vacuum is gonna be very good for them. If they pick a Alchemist mid right now on Team Tank, I'm not even gonna be surprised because there's three heroes yeah. whose axe is really good. So just if I were Team Tango, I would be like, okay, let's play greedy, get an alt, just don't have to play, just give them axe. Just give them the late game. Is... Okay, reserve time is non existent. For both teams right now, let's see the mid laner coming out for Team Tango. Well, hmm, okay, they already picked one. Windrunner, very good mid laner, especially against Slark because you just focus fire the Slark. Doesn't matter whenever he's free, and also good works good against Slark as well. Slark can't do shit against the Windrunner, so it's a really good pick coming in. I so far I like the draft from Team Tango. So on very the mid laner. Stable. Okay, they don't have much time though. So what do they pick on mid? Against this win runner, against this draft, I think you can pick a Void Spirit. There it is. Ooh, Hold nice. it. I mean, Void Spirit is the only option they can have right now. Otherwise, nothing really works here. Nothing really works. You just gotta pick somebody who survives, who kills, just does everything on, on his own, you know? So, 
Yeah. Well, I know my prediction for this game. You don't have to bet a Bagani on that. Uh, I think Team Bytes and Joyce is gonna have a very rough time here. They're gonna have a very rough time, but this could be different. This could be situational if my Messenger has nice lane because if you look at the laning stage, Voice Spirit should be not lose the lane or win the lane. It's gonna be neutral, but You can introduce the players one by one. Yes. So it's just not sure who wins and who gets the holy moldies, you know? So yeah, let's just see. So far, so good. And uh, we can see that Nobody use smoke. That's quite surprising. No, none of the teams use smoke. That is smoke. very surprising. They don't yeah. have any smoke. They have smokes. They didn't buy any smoke. No, yeah, they didn't buy, buy any smoke. smoke. They just didn't <laughs> buy it. They just didn't use it. They have it, of course. And uh, looks like the wall's gonna be placed out. No actions yet so far from either of the teams. Ranger, interesting starting items. His support does give him the sentry after the magic wand and three ticks. Going against the circle and three iron branches of Osangiaya on the word spirit. Well, but yeah, they are ready on the high ground, but yeah. no clash, no clash is going to happen here. I think. Well, I personally think Madison enjoy they have their game's momentum and everything a lot dependent on this axe. As soon as this axe is active, it's going to be really, really better for can actually delete the PA if he wants to, but Axe actually went to the safe lane. They actually swapped the lanes. What? Okay. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they didn't swap the lanes. Never mind. Axe is on the Radiant side. I kind of forgot. <laughs> <laughs> He's back during, so I got confused for a second there. So yeah, back during is fine and all, but just have to be safe, you know? Just have to be safe there. Meanwhile, let's check. X X should you know both of the PA and X should have a decent lane. Oh, I mean, X... my new cat he's gonna oh. get dived. Damn, my Rubik just died. Universe received quite a bit of damage in the process, though he survives. But that's a tower dive pretty early. That's what NP does to you. If you are not cautious enough, just gonna get inside the tower and get you some kills. PA does have zero last hit for right now. Angel doing a good job. Yes. Angel is doing a really good job, so... Okay, meanwhile we see in the bot lane they are pressuring, right clicking him down. Angel, so far so good. PA only has one last hit, one deny, which... Uh, he's gonna, not gonna... Oh, Zarok, very low, he's gonna die. Yeah, 
He just got blood grenaded and uh, the dual breath, the DPS was too much for him to take on. That's the thing about this lane though. If you are playing against the Jakira and you overstep a little bit, you just gotta pay the price and the price is heavy. In the bot lane they go on to Furion. Furion is, seems to be in danger. Christian, the captain himself, receiving cut damage. But feed my cat, he wants revenge. He wants revenge for his first blood but he won't be able to get it as he survives with just 20 HP remaining. We're gonna walk to base. No, he's not gonna do that. He has a... TP, he's gonna TP, he's just gonna teleport back to the lane. It's interesting shit. that Rubik went for lift level 1 and not dead board, just trying to get hyper aggressive. Yeah. Yes, that was that was very interesting choice. NP TPing in the bot lane, Salu. He is there, trying to get him with the Sprout, but looks like Angel is gonna die here. Angel is receiving a lot of damage, maledicted in. Another right click from Zarok to finish him off, Salu. They wanna turn back onto him, but they don't have any more paralyzing cast or Sprout to catch him. So he's just gonna walk out of there. But Axe, gonna have a really tough time in this lane. Like I said, Axe. Darkseid is also very low on the top lane. He is trying to fly out a tango right now. No boots on him, I, neither a surge. So right now, uh, this flag has a free lane for the time being. Uh, until the nature does return with a salve for his off laner. Yeah. That's one of the things though. He can just become a lively career. You just, you know, TP back to the base and teleport back again. I don't see any career killing shenanigans though from Christian on that nature's profit. Well, he doesn't need to. I mean, he already got two kills for his team. He's already playing active and it's just three minutes. The universe says I'm lagging. How are you? I'm lagging. He's not lagging, he's lagging. Lagging. Yes, something we never heard before. A different thing. Guess we learn every day. X coming back to the top lane and instantly gets maledicted and half HP already. Okay, and he just... might die here. Saved a lot of damage though, but I think he's safe for the time being. PA is still around the area. Going for the Lotus. Not the best decision ever. Will receive one right click from the PA. But he's going to be able to get out of there. He does have the Lotus in case if they jump on him again. Nature's Prophet return on the lane. Four minutes on to his teleportation so they can go on the axe again if they want to and yeah, they can just and down this axe up. right now and that his game would be over yeah i mean this axe really needs to be active in order for them to have a game in the first place Midas and Joris. but they're not gonna let that happen because this is the toughest lane for axe and i mean to be honest axe doesn't actually win lanes against pa right that's the fact and in this lane, it's gonna be tough for Axe to even survive because of this Witch Doctor. Because Axe against Witch Doctor is just one of the worst nightmares for Axe, you know? Just don't wanna play against this hero because Axe wants to receive damage in order for him to spin. Okay, they are going on to the Axe again. Axe seems to be receiving quite a bit of damage. And here comes this Sprout. Sprout is there. We'll use the Quilling Bait. Try to get out of there. Angel receive, already received a lot of damage. Maledict Strike is there. Another Strike to finish him off. But Christian is just gonna right click and secure the kill. Axe is gone again. He does have a TP though, so his TP cooldown is already up, so he doesn't have to do the walk of shame oh, yeah. back to the lane. But he is fine for the time being. Salu, meanwhile, being a good support, he is keeping the creeps on check for him. Meanwhile, hey, if sure. you look at the mid lane, kind of even, pretty even. Yeah, they're just the uh, pretty even, yeah. Oh. Bot lane, they are going on to the Slark. Slark made a huge mistake. He wanted to go on Universe, but he, they actually take him down. And now Feed My Cat seems to be in a lot of danger as well. This Nature Prophet is just causing ruckus in the map. No, they actually wanted to give the kill to Universe. Uh, they almost made a mistake, but it's fine. Trishan just doing so much around the map. This Nature they Prophet. Got it. They got it under yes. control. No need to worry. Yes, you just. that's why you just don't live. The most imbalanced hero, the most cancerous hero of the game, unbanned, you know? So far, I would say the only lane that is going even is mid lane. Look at that. 31 last is 5 denies, 28 last is 2 denies. It is going slightly in the favor of the but Void Spirit, though. He's gonna as soon as he hits level well. 6, he is going to go, I think. Yep. Yes, he does jump on Clash. 
But that's the best he can do because he can't get a kill. On the other hand, Christian dies to Slark, actually. Oh, okay, I that's did interesting. not see that. Yes, me neither. But I guess that's fine. Because he's going there, you know? I'll play an axe. Later, all again going on him. No stun. Will he be able to make it out? No. The Meredith yes. takes him down. Melodic takes him down and he's gone again. Three deaths already for Axe in six minutes. Every two minutes he's dying once and that's not really good for him. And uh, we see that the mid rune was picked up. The first rune is going to be an Arakan rune picked up by Sangi. And he is happy with that clash. If this nature rotates to mid, I think they might be able to kill this uh, Void Spirit. But he doesn't have a Shackle Shot. Darkly with the Vanguard, he's just backdooring. He's having a fun time here on the bottom lane. Yes. Clark using the Twin Gate. On the Twin Gate, okay, he's Slark. about to get Christian. Yes, Christian seems to be very low, but Slark seems to be in danger because I is jumping on him right now. He is receiving a lot of damage. He has to get out of there. He doesn't have pounds for 12 seconds. Aya is still onto him, but they want to turn back. They want to turn onto somebody else. Zarok is there with the Maledic onto Salu. Salu is there. Sangi is there as well. Aya receiving. A lot of damage now, he has to get out of there, but he can't do that. Angel is back, take the revenge, Clash is here as well, but his whole team is dead. He has to get back from there, and he will. But, looks like Midas Enjoyers finally somehow making some thing work in their favor, because Tango Very just nice made a lot of mistakes there. Yes, oh, okay, Clash. He gets clash. the ball onto the Wind Ranger, can they do it? I, I think Wind Ranger won't be able to do anything. That's an axe with the Vanguard. Even though if he has a Javelin, it doesn't matter. Clash does have Battle Hunker onto him. So he has to get out of there. Focus Fire will be ending soon. Feed My Cat is there with the Fade Bolt. With the Telekinesis already used on to Aya. Feed My Cat trying to get Clash. Will deal some damage, but won't be able to get him. Aya still there. Clash picks up the kill on to Feed My Cat. And now they are looking for everyone. Sangi does have his Astral Step. And they jump on to Christian. Christian is found again. Christian, he is trying to run away from there. He has dual breath on him. Don't think he survived this. He doesn't. Sangiaya just comes in with the astral trap, securing the kill for himself. That was a long fight, but I think in the end, Artis enjoys did get away with a lot there. They actually want to go on Universe. Universe is doing a lot of damage with the Ant Shell now. They are. He has a Wall of Replica. He does manage to use the Wall of Replica. Slark might die here, but he just got level 6 after killing Universe. And he's going to be able to get out of there after using Shadow Dance. And, uh, That's a huge yeah. win for Midas Enjoy as Q. Nice play by him and feed my new cat. Please feed yes. this cat. I think Team Tango is making a lot of mistakes. Which is going to cause them big, actually. After but such a good lane hand, save. Yeah. I mean, they could have just shut down this axe and their game was already like 60% yeah. over, Goodness. but they just gave away a lot of kills to axe and now he has a vanguard. He has his boots coming in in the courier as well. And with this vanguard, X can just sit in jungle and he won't care about laning anymore, right? Look at that. Indeed. He's killing black dragons. He's receiving zero to none damage. Phantom Assassin is rushing the battle period before the boots. Usually not a good plan, but let's yeah, see how I, I mean, can make it work. I'll see how I can make it work. Because AI yeah, it's usually not a really really wise choice, I would say, because you lack damage, a lot of damage. Attack speed to the camp. Yeah. Moment Attack speed, speed, the damage, everything. And the movement speed to like go from camp to camp, so not the best decision ever, but if you can get it within 10 minutes, it's worth it. But it's gonna hit 10 minutes soon, and he is very far away from his battle tree. So, yeah. Indeed. Uh, actually... But if he gets the battle tree, and then okay. he starts... He has a glass of hit and 4 points in the yeah. Phantom Strike, so he can farm pretty fast. I, I like this decision. Invis Jani yeah. coming on top of Sangi Aya, he's ready. Hunting for the Phantom Strike. Yeah, but they don't know about him though, so he's still uh, invisible, roaming around the lanes. Sangi, will you see him? He's, if oh, he sees the Phantom uh, yeah. Assassin without boots, he's just gonna get yes. bursted down. Done. Good, and that, that's a very yeah. high value kill for Sangi Aya. Nice dodge on the cast there, Jani. Oh my god, he's so good. Yes. 
इम्पार्शल कास्ट इम्पार्शल कास्ट इट्स फाइन वी ऑल यू नो हैव आवर फेवरेट्स ये ही इज माय टीममेट सो यू नो सो या आई वांट हिम टू विन बट या ओके टॉप लेन they are actually going on to him vacuum is used angel is caught onto the vacuum but they don't have any follow up angel is caught onto the spark right now but there is a call the wall of prepare is used sangya is in the back line he wants to get zerox zerox is very low but he actually have knocked down his ultimate and that's a huge ultimate coming in from the witch doctor getting it down sangi dies with the triple kill streak and now they want more universe is going inside he's going to have vacuum for 40 seconds so they don't have any catch he clash is also there used his Finally, gonna use his shackle charge. Stop the TP coming in from Salu, but Dash is taking a lot of damage. Yeah. Very over extension from Tango there. Aya didn't not just come. They're pinging him, but he's just farming out there because he's a PA. He needs a battle fury timing, and the over extension will get three of the members dead. And now Aya seems to be in danger as well. He needs to run away from there. Can he run away though? That's the question. Yeah, battle fury was really hurting him. He could not do anything in that fight, and they lose one and get four. Midas and Jor is really good. Yes, for them right there. Sangya, yeah, close to his echo saber, which will really amp his damage in the fight. Has two charges. Can jump on the witch doctor if he feels like it. I think the twelve minute shield rune, so he can play more like a maniac. As he is not <laughs> apparently right now. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he had that threads, maybe perhaps. He could have joined the fights, you know, the previous fights. Yeah, uh, Trudy have been very good. The corner copy or the blade, so uh, it it does a lot of damage in the fights. He could yeah. have turned potentially. And now on bottom universe, Tani does miss his stun on him. Gets the second jump on him though. Nature is he, there. The shield rune is also there. Yes, he's gonna survive. I think he has a shield rune, so it's sort of fine. And he will be able to get out of there. Does use the aether remnant in panic though, so I think it's still fine. Battle Fury is still not up. 350 gold left, and at this point, Battle Fury is not worth it anymore because he just couldn't, you know, make the timing right. Clash is there. He does have a focus fire. Angel is very low. He has to be careful. He could have used the shackle shot and focus fire. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, they are in a fight. Universe gets taken down. Looks like they commit the macro fires. Salu. He stuck around for too down. long. The dark here. Sangi Aya was yep. in the neighborhood, ready to pounce on him with the ion shell on him, given to him by Rubik. Nice play. Okay, he can just. Okay, I'm not sure why Clash is not going on Angel. He could kill Angel three times here right now. I think yeah, But with the javelin, he can. Twenty six yeah, charge, can... level three wind run. He just dive tower. Twenty wind run, and the partridge as well. He's keeping the partridge on agility for some reason. I guess he just wants to attack faster. You That's see four fine. enemy heroes on the bottom. You jump on this attack. Yeah, Angel. jump on this attack. He is recovering. Blade mail is done almost to the blink. Ah, the blade mail. That's why. <laughs> I mean, he can just easily juke the blade mail, right? He can just stop it. Okay. I see. They are and jumping on. They have another yeah. jump, and Angel gets another stack of the culling blade. That's so bad, actually. Up. Not only I... Axe with low HP was just lurking around and he did not kill him, but. They just turned back and now they just gave a kill to Sangi, and Sangi is is one of the persons you don't want to give kills to, right? Because Axe calls, Sangi is the only person who can deal damage, and he's going for a Manta after this. So Echo Saber Manta, call Astral Step into Resonant Pulse, Dissimulate, Aether Remnant, another Astral Step, Blade Mill, Battle Hunger, Culling Blade, everyone dies. Yep, PA cannot survive with BKB even. Yes. They're trying to go. Oh. He does have the wall. Here, flip it into the macro pass. The wall of replica is placed down here. Feed my cat. He is onto their wind runner. He's just right clicking him down. Focus fire is there. He's gonna be taken out. But uh, they used two huge ultimates in this fight. But they did not get much out of it. And uh, they are actually. He does have that battle fury much. going for her. Can really accelerate the yes. farm if she is left unattended. Will Osangi I let that happen? Though is the real question. He has the region rune. He is ready to stay on that map, active for the next couple of minutes. Yes, he has to do that. Darkfield well, does have the max plus vanguard. He is pretty tanky. Not the optimum target for you to go on. 
the only. Yep, yep. And he's just gonna run away if you miss stuff. You know, he can just juke and run away. So yeah, he can finally it. picking up his okay. battle fury, so he can start farming. What, Figure yeah, it just be not... okay. Mini burst is getting jumped on here. He tries to search out of there. Christian comes back in. Which doctor is there as well? Maledict and Ult is ready, but does he want to get in? That's the question, though. He does not. Paralyzing cask was stolen by Rubik, and they just respect each other, TPs and stuff, and they just get back from there. As I said, Lee Universe, he's very tanky. He's betting out themselves. Yes, and now the axe has a bling dagger. The right perfect timing. Go time. It's go time. Yes, it is go time from their side. And it's gonna be really, really hard right now. Okay, they do see them, I think. They use spells in mid lane after going on sod. They the go on the triangle. They, they might find okay, the PA. They might find a PA. He just, blur just ran out. Oh. PA is walking around. Angi does see him. Uses the blink. And here comes the jump inside. They use everything actually. They stack up the stuns. This is actually bad. If they want to take a fight right now, it would have been bad. But they just used too much for this PA. I feel like this is an overcommitment. They could have fought, you know, even yeah. after taking this PA if they didn't overcommit like this. Like using all the astral ice path in the call is such a grief, right? And you just use the macro pair as well. I'm not sure why it's that. Angel. Do everything in the kitchen and the sink at her right there. Yes, that's not the wisest thing to do. Zarek is there. He misses the Maledict. No, how can he miss the Maledict? He was stunned up. Angel is surviving there. Meanwhile, in the back line, they have Christian keeping in. He's got Solu inside the crowd. Sangia is still helping them in from back down. Here comes call. the axe with an amazing call. Two man call, but their call won't do much because he doesn't have his blade mill on to that. Aya is trying his best to survive right now, but he has to get back from there. Meanwhile, in the backline, Christian is getting just jumped on by Sangi. Sangi finishes off. Christian, Angel is in the backline. He does have a lot of mirror illusions following him around. He is very low, though. Meanwhile, Q is low as well. He does die here, I think. Here comes the wind shot. Here comes the power shot taking him down. And still in danger as well. He's just gonna be chased out. Team Tango finally having a good fight, but here comes the blink dagger from Angel. He is surviving that very nice blink. And looks like Team Tango did not predict that. Looks like Universe did not predict that. And three heroes dead from the side of Midas. Enjoy a pretty nice fight. 2,555 gold earned from this fight by Team Tango. And they have the 2k lead. Very nice comeback there from Team Tango. Uh, that was a good choke point there for Team Tango. No vision on the high ground. And even if the rock misses his Meredict on the axe, it did not matter in the end. Sangi could not do much in that fight. Only got Christian, I think. Let me see. Yeah, only got the kill on Christian. Yes. Now, the question is, we have to see whether or not we uh, we can you know we can whether whether or not we can have the PA active in time or not because if we don't then it's gonna be a huge trouble trust me it's gonna be a huge huge trouble he has one mithril hammer plus the blight it's a very good timing for that desolator and if they smoke they can jump yeah. and kill anyone yep pretty much anyone in the top lane, Other they actually the want to go on to Christian. Christian is in a lot of danger. He has to get out of there. He's currently standing in the macro pyre. Very nice ultimate comes in from the Witch Doctor, dealing a lot of damage, but not enough to take him down. Very nice wall of replica and vacuum comes in, catches two people, and Slar just get decimated. Their Q is just gone. Tries to TP out of there. That's a very nice TP coming in from the Axis side. And Witch Doctor's ulti is stolen that ward. But here comes Aya, takes the first kill, and he wants more. He wants to go for the Jakiro as well, and he will just jump inside, and he will get the double kill as well. This is really really bad from Midas in Jars. They overextended there. Oh, they Sanji, yeah, yeah. He's staying hard. here. Will they jump on him? They can yeah, actually three minutes here. on the shackle shot, so I think he's safe. The rune is on top. And which doctor he is very low at this point though. One thing though, Windrunner for some reason didn't buy a bottle. Windrunner do not go for bottles these days. They just go for stats. They say, yeah, they just go for I will stats. not kill you using my mana, I will kill you using my right click. Yeah, I will e kill you using my right click. But I guess bottle is still fine because, you know, it just gives you a little bit of regen 
uh, sustainability and the rune control is is like a must, you know. Yeah, like, it's to stay on the map. A... It's also good, yeah. but uh, it's the matter. I don't yeah. know what the pros are thinking. They're all not jobs. Yep. I just, I guess I have different thought about it, but yeah, it's fine yeah. with or without bottle. As the desolator, will they use this timing or wait for her BKB? I believe they will just wait for his BKB. He's free farming at this point. And once the Phantom Assassin is active, there's nobody that can kill him. Clark, in order to kill this Phantom Assassin, he needs at least 20 more minutes to get those items, you know, to become ready for the PA. Because he's not oh. ready for the PA yet. Christian just gets the Wisdom Roar and Axe does not do anything. He's not even seeing him. Uh, oh, and okay. he's out. Nice. He's just gone. That is a play. Axe is, I can imagine, getting <coughs> hammered down in the Discord chat right now. <laughs> well, dude, why didn't you take our Wisdom Rune, man? It's 840 XP. You know? Sorry, I was just too busy farming, you know? I thought I would farm the cramps yeah. first and then take it. We've all been but there against the Nature Prophet. Play against Nature's Prophet? You never ever waste one second for the runes, any of the runes to be honest. Otherwise he's just gonna come and steal it. Such a broken ass hero. Okay, they wanna go on to universe here on the top lane. Axe is thinking about it. Angel, does he have enough follow-up? He does, but they're actually being cautious. They think that universe um, going might for the have down down bottom. It's a very good time. It is uncontested as well. well what yeah. is my is doing? Do we don't know. That desolator timing PA easy to turn. And she can then go ham on the map. Yes, that is, I believe, the case. And uh... okay, they just delete the Roshan really fast with this Desolator PA. Roshan's not gonna survive for that Walk long. And can you believe this game is 17 17, like equalized scores? Well, the mid game fights were, you know. Equalize the laning phase disadvantage that Midas and George did have, but now it's about time for Team Tango to bring it back around. And Axe is yeah. still farming the entrance. Yeah, well, Axe. Team Team Tango, they're they have the item timings right now. They're it's their time to shine. It's their time to move. So they better start moving fast, otherwise this is tough. It's actually gonna be really tough. The rock, very nice item that Glimmer gave against the Void Spirit, all that magical burst. Put it on a core, put it on yourself, and you survive the burst. And Void Spirit will be set up for uh, a disadvantage in the fight. All five of them pushing bottom right now. The Midas Enjoyer want to go for a trade, but they have done literally no damage to this top tier too. 2500 HP for it right now. Yeah. Well, the, when this PA starts hitting, it's gonna hurt really, really bad, trust me. And he is almost very close to his BKB as well. Really he, uh, Flash does have that Dragon Inceptor going for him. How is the vision game looking for Midas and Let's see. Two dust on Jakiro. Nice. And three dust on Feed by Noob Cat. So they are ready for the Agony. <laughs> Oh, Flark, will he get found here? He does see him. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Uh oh, that's bad. This PA is just too much for them to take in right now. PA wants more. He wants to get Salu. Salu is caught it out here. There's a Sprout and there is the kill. And with this PA, you know, with Desolator and with Solar Crest on this Nature's Prophet, it's just gonna be really, really hard for them to yeah. do anything. PA has the shield run right now. You don't want to touch her, please. Run away. Axe cutting that mid wave. Uh, forcing Phantom Assassin back. And she's alone. And uh, not blurred. But the shield drone. Uh, I don't think Sangia wants to jump on her. He will just TP back. Yeah. I think the courier died with his BKB, right? Uh, For some reason, PA has his Vambrace on strength. Q? I guess the 8 Clark? resistance? No. The Phantom Assassin. Oh, Phantom Assassin. Yeah, it's very good. The magic resistance is better on Phantom Assassin because yeah. you have a glass cannon and you can use every little bit of strength 
uh, which is contradictive of his uh, ogre act, which is in the backpack. Well. That a solid bad. 200 HP, Aya. Come on. Yeah, I'm not sure. He's just <laughs> not utilizing his stuff properly. He he could just put down the stick. You know, who needs a stick at this point? Ah, uh, yeah. He's okay. lured up. He yeah. just... Oh, Sangi. An invisible flash. He's, he's in a Sangi danger. Oh. Nope, he's not dead yet. Uh, Manta is there. He's just gonna use the astral strap. He's gonna use this limited and astral strap to get out of there. But that would have been a kill if PA just didn't go for the farm there. If he just followed the windrunner. Windrunner did use the shackle shot. Yeah, a little late though. So I guess it's In fine. that shackle shot stun, PA could have bursted the void spirit down. Yeah, PA just has so much damage right now. It's just too easy for him. To burst They're anyone down. He is a tormentor right now. Very good play. Yes. I like it. Now TP back and get your tormentor as well. Support needs charge, you know? It's a hard life. Q going for the MKB after the Ag in Inceptor. I think here right now. Uh, I don't know. He needs to tank up a bit more. I would have gone for the Sanjan Yash personally on this. Clark and a shard, you know, and the fight is very important. Yeah, and Phantom Assassin, once he buys his shard, he's just gonna be more OP. He can just literally burst the axe down, and axe won't be able to do anything about it. Oh, DDPA Angel. coming in, Angel. Yes, <laughs> be careful. Get out of there, otherwise, you will, you will surely be an angel. <laughs> Indeed. In oh, PA's help. I mean, he still has 10 seconds on the Aegis, so... Aegis? This is very bad. They can burst yeah. him in 10 seconds. He should not be staying here. Yeah. Sangi Aya, will you prioritize on it? Come on, you can blink, son. He does not have DKB. Oh, come on. Now is the time, nice. Uh -oh. Perfect call. As soon as the Aegis times out. But it doesn't matter though, because Witch Doctor Ultimate immediately taking the kill away from Angel. Angel with Wicked Streak just gone, and with that, Witch Doctor. But look Witch at Doctor Rubik. This Doctor Light is on cooldown, and Rubik has a spell for him. Where are you I am, on, I am grieving right now. Changing star, I'm really grieving. Witch Doctor had 2000 gold, and he already has a staff of wizardry, and he just bought the four staff recipe. Oh and he just completed God. the four staff as well. That's Good. really, really bad. That's that's not the optimus thing to do, you know. God, I can that really what you want. Do. You don't need a four staff. Yeah, he does need a four staff, but I would still love to see a, you know, first item, scepter Ag? because scepter would have been really? better. No, scepter. Yeah, because he already has a glimmer cape. I mean. Yeah, you you had, don't even need the glimmer cape. Card and scepter, you have yeah. enough defense. Okay, yeah, dust is on. Flash. Okay. He is getting run down here. He Rudy is getting run down here. Oh, and the ward. Yeah, yeah. To him and he's done. Just so like that. Doctor Ward Huge is trick. there. Yes, the ward is there, and the ward always helps. Like I like the play from Midas and Joy. They're just playing it safe. They're just playing it very, you know, safely. They're not very overextending. Very on the high ground, you know. Ten seconds left on your edges, yeah. and you don't have DKB. No, no, you don't go. Yep, yep. They're they're behind to be honest. Like against 10k naturally, they're not making that many mistakes, right? They're just like solo picking off, like getting this win runner here was huge for them. It was a really, really wise decision from their side. Don't look now, but One Sangi Aya has that agony scepter going for him. This witch doctor will not be able to really use his ultimate in the fights, you know, he does not have a BKB and will not be getting there soon. So this agony yeah. scepter is a very nice choice. Uh, on the other hand, we see Darkseid. He has the Blink Pipe of Insight and Guardian Grief going for him. He is ready for Wombo Combo team fight. Uh, it can go either way. It can go either way. Going for the it Egg. It can next. go either way. He still didn't buy a shard though. I don't like this. Flash shard is, is really good. Uh, yeah, because shard? if you jump in. PA is shard. PA is not going for a shard. He's going for a nullifier. Uh, you know, PA, you know PA players, they're like, uh, I need BKB. Uh, let's get a Vasher shard. We'll get there soon. Yeah. yeah. 
which is not good because if he gets they a shark hungry, he can they want to kill people but they will not buy shark <laughs> yeah you buy a shark you can kill axe with like i don't know 2 seconds maybe and yeah, you okay. kill the slark can't fight you either because how can the slark fight you because you don't give him the third anymore you break it right yeah oh they want to and the bkb oh, for blade mail yeah and the bkb for blade mail does not do anything like, slark hits you doesn't matter in shadow shadow dance or in depth shroud you just yeah. use your shard right shard is and so high value here against yeah. slark and axe both you just use a shard and slark doesn't steal your agility anymore and if slark doesn't steal agility if his essence shift is off then slark is no longer slark what is slark a fish five man smoke from midas injures yeah uh, okay question to set my hot key Okay, there is a five man smoke. They actually want to take a fight. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the wise decision, but if they get a good call on to, with axe, I think the fight would be good for them. But they still haven't made any moves yet. Uh, on the other hand, Team Tango, they are in the bot lane. They are moving around there. Do they want to do that's the thing though. Clark. Just gonna farm the camp here. If he goes any further than this, though, that's gonna be dangerous for him. Oh, the windrunners power shot was there, so they might know that the enemies are in this jungle. So death at my hands is an honor. What do you think? Do you think the next Roshan decides the fight? Uh, decides it the does game. not decide the game, I think, because all three barracks are up and uh, they are still solidly in the lead. Team Tango with all outer towers remaining tier twos. Yeah, so I think there are many fights to be taken for my Dissinger. Yeah, I think it doesn't decide the game, but it helps making a decision because. 14 can enter late for the side of Team Tango if they take the Roshan and if they win the Roshan fight. That's gonna get even more, and once it gets more than 14k, it's at least gonna be 20k plus after. No, you, win if the you're run. on a PA team, you win one team fight, it's just over. Yeah, it's just over. It gets and that's what's gonna really happen. Hard. The Roshan, they're yes. going for it. It is going to be uncontested. They need the slark. I think and... not. Everybody's there from the side of um, the other team, and they have a smoke. They're gonna Ooh, smoke up. They were under ward. Yeah, so they know. Oh, Axe is actually very in a corner. Look at Angel's positioning. I like his positioning. But it's a very risky positioning. On the other hand, PA is already on the back line. He catches. You feed my cat and feed my cat. is gone. Double kill for PA. Aya is just going ham onto everybody. He jumps onto the Void Spirit as well. Void Spirit is gone before he, he could even react or do anything. He had an Astral Trap, but that Astral Trap is not going to be of use. And they catch even more. Universe on the back line actually managed to catch Q. And Q dies as well because he has an Orchid. Darkseid has and... an Orchid? No, no, Q has an Orchid, yeah. Nature, Firion, yeah. And they get the Roshan as well. Like I said, look at that, the network. I said that's gonna be at least 20k, and it is gonna be 20k soon. And once the network is 20k, you, it's just you said, hard to make it come back. You said Angel has good positioning, but he never moved from that position. <laughs> the because fight was over. Before the fight started, two of the supports are dead. Very nice movement from PA. I think that's because he got surged and he went in the back line. And they had good positioning if they just played around the axe i think they angel does get caught okay. okay angel is caught meanwhile aya goes in the back line doesn't have the bkb he's receiving a lot of damage for the time being the stolen cask is onto him but he dealt a lot of damage to sangi sangi has to get out of there zarok meanwhile from the back line gets a double kill he still is not planning on buying that uh scepter so I, I don't support Zarok's Squish Doctor anymore. <laughs> uh, nice. PA does not have a BKB. PA does have a BKB already up. Yeah, the BKB is up because last fight he did not use the BKB. I mean, this fight. No, he did use the BKB on the Roshan. 
Roshan, yeah, but yeah. in this fight, he did not use the BKB, yeah, so. And that he didn't Roshan have the BKB, fight, just got up. Your support, you were under ward, there's a PA blood, you hide in the trees. It was a misplay yeah. from both Jakiro and Rubik there. Yeah, That's like the I said, if the last fight doesn't decide the game, it does decide how the game will turn out. And the game will turn out in the favor of Tango, Team Tango, like we already guessed. And 27 can hit the lead from this point onwards. Unless, unless Something that can Team hang Tango hand. throws themselves, like literally, they just decide on okay, we're just gonna throw the game. And I think they should be. Wait for the vacuum. Okay, for very Ruby. nice, very nice shackle shot coming in. We'll connect onto Angel. Angel is connected with the creep, and Sangi is caught out there. He just have to get out of there. Simulate used, and two of the heroes are just gone. Aya with so much damage with his battle fury, and with Axe not here, no buyback from Axe. They should just be able to take the towers, but look at that. They want to go on to PA. PA does have, doesn't have a BKB. He still has the ages though, so you have to be careful. And look at that. He's just gonna cleave his way out of there. And he's just gonna get a double kill. We get Sigon for him. Slark has to get out of there. He does use the Shadow Dance, but he can't get out of there because everybody's just onto him. Like I said, the vacuum is there to catch onto Slark. And Slark just cannot get out of there. And here it is. Shackle shot connecting onto the tree. Good game, well played. GG is that used and right Team there. Tango takes the series with the 2-0. Even though only one game was played, they got another forfeit free win. But Team Tango, at the end of the day, are the victors of this series. Man, what a game, right? That was a very fun game. Uh, it did go both ways for quite a bit, but PA magic, you know, one fight lost against PA and that's all you need. Yes, one fight lost against PA and that's all you need. And PA is just too strong right now. Just too. They got too, all too the too meta strong. heroes. Like, look at that. Which talks yeah, through, but... Literally everything. Whole draft based on meta. They know their Dota. They studied. Though Midas enjoy if. And if only they played around the axe, I think they would have been able to, you know, make it work out. But they just did not have any follow-ups or good positioning around the axe or not the best, like, call and call follow-ups afterwards. So, I guess that's that. But, yeah, we only have one winner and that is going to be Team Tango. And Midas and Jared, they tried well. They tried their best, but they came out short. Unfortunately, they did not play with their full team. So, that's...